everyone, Abby here. And welcome back to Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to be comparing the Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 to the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. All right, guys, so during this video, I'm going to be talking about a lot of comparisons and differences between these two laptops. So in case there's something specific that you do want to know, I've gone ahead and listed all the major points I'm discussing in the description. So you can go ahead and like jump to that spot if you want to see something in particular. I know a lot of you out there are deciding which one you want to get. You might be deciding, should I get the Surface Laptop 3? Should I get the Surface Laptop 4? Is it worth upgrading if I already have the Surface Laptop 3 to the Surface Laptop 4? So I'm going to give you guys my rundown and let you know my opinion on if I think it's worth the upgrade and which one I would recommend to someone who doesn't have either of these units and is looking for a great laptop. Okay, so to get started, the first thing I wanna show you guys is the turn on speed. So I'm gonna turn them both on at the same time and then we're gonna see which one powers up first. So starting off here, I do want to say that this one has a lot more resistance when you do open it versus the Surface Laptop 3. That's just something I noticed when, you know, I started using it. Three, two, one. So surprisingly, the Surface Laptop 3 did turn on before the Surface Laptop 4, guys. turned on actually quite a bit faster, a couple seconds there, it's definitely noticeable. The difference is here on the inside, guys. So the main difference is being the battery life and the processor. So the Surface Laptop 3 does have a quad core 10th generation Intel i5 processor. And the Surface Laptop 4, the version that I got, does have AMD Ryzen 5 Surface Edition processor. So the processors are definitely um, a difference here. And in terms of performance, kind of speed-wise, how well they run, I am not really finding a difference. I think both processors work equally well at, um, you know, running the Surface Laptop. So they both have 256 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of Go RAM. All right, guys, so when it comes to the design of these units, they look the exact same from the outside. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to figure out which is which if someone didn't tell you because the Surface Laptop 4 and the Surface Laptop 3 came out in like the same color options. They look the exact same, same ports, like it'd be really hard to know. I'm not a huge fan that they didn't really change anything much. They even have the exact same ports, same venting, and I wish that they could have added an extra USB-C or gave us something additional because this is supposed to be the newer model and everything. The Surface Laptop 4 here is quoted to have a battery life of up to 19 hours for this specific model. This is the one with the AMD Ryzen processor specially made for Microsoft. And this model here does have the best battery life out of all of the Surface 4 laptops that are released. And this one right here has a quoted battery life of 11.5 hours. This one does have the 10th generation Intel i5 processor. So with my general uses, which are, you know, going on YouTube, using Microsoft Office Suite, going on Netflix, different streaming platforms, writing emails, stuff like that. I am finding that the battery lives are not as good as quoted. I am getting on the Surface Laptop for 16.5 hours. And on the Surface Laptop 3, after having this for about a year, I'm getting on average about seven and a half hours of battery life with my uses. So the battery life here is definitely way better than the Surface Laptop 3. It excels, it's basically almost double what this offers. So that is excellent here. All right guys, so I just wanted to quickly tell you guys about the weights because that's also a difference. They're both 13.5 inch Surface Laptops. So the Surface Laptop 4 that I do have weighs 2.79 pounds or 1265 grams. While the Surface Laptop 3 I have is a little bit heavier. So here we have it at 2.84 pounds or 1288 grams. So the difference there is minimal. Um, it's not super noticeable, but I do wanna let you know that this one is a little bit heavier. Guys, so one great thing about both of these units is that they are very portable. They're easy to carry around. They are both lightweight. Um, there's a slight difference between them as I did tell you, but it's just so minute, you don't really even notice it when you are holding them. So I love that you can just carry it around, you could stick it in your backpack, in a purse, you can just walk around with it. It's comfortable and lightweight enough to do that. And now I'm just gonna show you guys the volume. So just gonna play a video. I'm gonna start it kind of low and go up. Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. 
so we can hear that's pretty loud. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. All right guys, so as you can hear, the volume is just about the exact same. I don't really notice much of a difference. They're both kind of clear and loud once you do get really high, and it's also nice when you're low. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the differences in brightness. Right now, I'm gonna turn this one all the way down and turn this one all the way down. When all the way down, you could hardly even see the screen on both of these. So now I'm gonna turn it up. When it comes to the brightness, the Surface Laptop 3 is brighter than the Surface Laptop 4. This one's actually brighter, guys. I'm actually surprised about that. I'm not sure if you can kind of see that on screen, but this is noticeably brighter than that. So the keyboards here are phenomenal. That's something that I really love about the Surface, or Microsoft in general. They make excellent keyboards. Like if you're talking about the Surface Pro or Surface Go um, lines, they, they're phenomenal as well. They're just a little smaller. When you are typing, it's very kind of quiet. I love that. It's not like super clicky, but it has a nice push when you are typing, guys. And one thing I do want to say about this keyboard is the Alcantara fabric is so plush and luxurious. You just can't help yourself but like touching it. All right, guys. So I just wanted to talk about the Alcantara fabric a little bit more. So here I have my type cover for my Surface Pro 4. This is the oldest kind of Surface product I have still in my collection. And as you can see, Alcantara does kind of absorb the oil from your palms and it's really hard to get off. Even though I do wash this regularly, it's still there. So just a caution for if you're getting Alcantara, you're probably going to end up with, you know, a result like this over time. It doesn't impact any functionality here. The Surface Type Cover still works phenomenally. Doesn't really bother me, but some people that might bother you. So I just want to point that out for you guys if you are considering the Alcantara fabric. And one thing I do want to point out is this is always cold, guys. <laughs> it's metal. This is just like a nice room temperature and it's warmer um, physically to the touch when you are typing. So that's something to note as well. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the backlit keyboard on both keyboards. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights so you guys can see what it would look like if you're using your laptop in the dark. So the lowest setting. And we're going up. Up one more. And off. So they just both have three different settings. Four the brightness on the backlit keyboards. And for the keyboards, if you don't you touch them for a couple seconds, they turn off. But when you're ready to use it again, all you have to do is move like the keypads or type anywhere. But as you can see, I haven't been touching them. They do stay on for quite some time, but it does time out and then you gotta kind of use it to make it work again. And they did turn off, so, and there we go. So I'm just gonna show you the camera on them. They both do have a 720p front facing camera. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and turned on the camera on both of these. And we can see they're kind of picking up a little bit of differences in color. Like this is appearing more blue than this. And I have this right here. And I think the color is kind of pretty accurate, more accurate on this actually, on the Surface Laptop 4. So if you guys are using this for Zoom calls, video conferences, anything like that, you'll definitely be fine. And people will be able to see you clearly. And hear you clearly as well because the mics are pretty good. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna record like a couple seconds of me talking so you guys can compare the video, sound, and the audio when it is recorded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are testing the audio here and the video. All right, so let's start off with the Surface Laptop 3. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are testing the audio here and the video. And now let's go ahead, get to the Surface Laptop 4 and hear and see what that sounds like. Six, seven, eight. We are testing the audio here and the video. They both did a great job. They both had kind of clear audio. They sounded very similar. And the video is also basically the exact same, both 720p. So one major difference is when I purchased this, it was a higher price initially on the release date than this was, which I'm very surprised about that. And I like that Microsoft actually kind of reduced the price because I actually ended up spending $100 less getting this unit than I did purchasing this. Because if you look at the prices right now, this one's actually cheaper right now, the Surface Laptop 4. I know that's super surprising. I mean, I was surprised to see that as well when I did go to purchase this. If you don't have one already and you're deciding between these two, I would definitely go for the Surface Laptop 4 so you can get that better battery life there. But if you already have a Surface Laptop 3 and you're considering, hey, should I upgrade to the Surface Laptop 4? 
my opinion is no, you definitely don't need to upgrade guys. This one has everything that you need. Yes, there's better battery life. That is a huge difference for some people. But for me right now, you know, I'm staying at home. I'm always near an outlet. So when the battery does die, it's not a big deal for me to plug it in. But if you're someone who is on the go and you do need that like extra battery life, you know, the up to 19 hours, then you might want to consider going for the Surface Laptop 4. That's all I have for you guys today. If you do have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.